And it all comes down to this. The final of the UEFA Women's Champions League. It's Arsenal and they take on Real Madrid. The instructions will have been clear from the managers, Derek. Stick to the game plan. Don't take risks in your defending third and embrace the occasion. Don't be frightened of it. What a game this should be. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. A look at the opposition starting lineup today. Well, it's the same formation, but they use it to press the ball high up the field. And rarely do the wide players drop deep to defend. And watch out for the midfield three who continually rotate their positions. And now they get the ball rolling. Little. On to Ford. Couldn't keep it. Gonzalez. A chance to whip it in. Must be! It's still alive! Olga Carmona. Nicely timed tackle. Well, so close to seeing an early goal here. It's a great save, you have to say. Well, on the back of that breathtaking... Piece. Oh, there it is! Arsenal hit the front in the final. And just listen to their supporters! exactly what they were hoping for well here it is again and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack they were so quick to break out from their defensive positions and the finish is excellent she's strong she's determined and she keeps her composure that's a really good goal and the ball moving again what sort of response will we see from them now And space to cross it. Great pressure to win the ball back. Is it going to be? Well, it might still work out for them. Threat over for now, it seems. Well, still behind here, but only due to some incredible goalkeeping. Surely it's only a matter of time if they keep piling on the pressure like this. Well, pushing again for a goal, looking full of purpose. Oh, she's in here! Oh, she's broken things up magnificently. Stina Blackstenius.
Atenia. Here's Robles. Still behind, but the pressure mounting. Well, they're doing their best to get on level terms here. Well, it's a decent effort, but they're still trailing. They need something special here. Caroline Weir. Great opportunity. Oh, a goal it is. The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. Katie McCabe. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Esther Gonzalez. And Weir. Sandy Toletti. A oh, tremendous vision. And well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Now what can they do from here? And making the run to the inside. Shot attempted and fine goalkeeping. And over it comes, and clearing it away. And in with a real chance. Steph Catley. Well, possibilities in the centre. And making the move to the inside. Is she going to score? And up for grabs off the keeper. Well, really calm, composed goalkeeping there. It certainly was on the second attempt. It was the first save that really stood out. That was a brilliant piece of goalkeeping. And there it is, the half-time whistle. So back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Decent position. Katie McCabe now with Ford dangerous looking through ball able to clear the danger at least for now that is how to apply the pressure well let's see what they have in store for them on the break all hands on deck and a chance to whip it in here no, high quality defending. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Ivana Andres. And Weir. Well, we're into the final half hour. Gonzalez. Now with Abellera. Well, she really deserves credit for that challenge. This might be ideal for the counter. 
could play it in. Firing it towards goal. Well, a chance here perhaps to invigorate their aerial targets. And the substitution will occur now. Let's see about the delivery. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Takes the shot. Superb block. Now brilliant work to keep that one in play. Caitlin Ford. Intercepting it intelligently. Now what can they do from here? The save was a good one. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. <laughs> Playing it short. And struggling to get the shot off. Kim Little. The fans imploring her to shoot. Oh, it's in! They take the lead here. And just how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, let's take another look. It's a really well-timed pass to break the offside line. And then through on goal, you never really had any doubt that she'd slot that away. That's a cool finish. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Vuben Moy. And a good-looking pass. Kim Little. Really good attacking play. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Athenia. Determined defending. Moving towards full time, and it's a matter of whether or not Arsenal can preserve the victory. Stuart, what have you made of their performance? Well, it's been a really good contest, you have to say. But overall, I think they've just about deserved to be in the lead here. Can they now just... Oh, opportunity here, Stuart. Oh, I can't believe it. Twists and turns in the closing stages. And it's anyone's guess who's going to lift the trophy. Incredible. Well, here it is again, and they've taken their goal well, but the defending was non-existent. That should never happen. So back underway, dead level, 2-2. Two -two. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. So away they go again, the first period of extra time, and it's legitimate to ask to what extent mental strength will come into this. Looking forward to it. Looked as though she was one step ahead of her opponent. And play halted, free kick given. Well, the referee won't be quite as lenient next time. Got to tread more carefully.
Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Carmona. Into the advanced position. And the snuffing out of the cross there. Could play it in. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Lina Hurtig. He's made a really good intervention there. Arsenal's free kick here. Well, some referees might have elected to hand out the yellow card, but no booking on this occasion. Classify that as a poor attempt, a long way wide. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Noel Maritz. Well, possibilities in the centre. She's ready to pounce. Half-time in extra time, and still they are level. Well, extra time continues. We're into the second period now. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Chance to cross. Surely! And she's in the mood today. She's gone and made it a double. Well, here it is again, and all credit to the goal scorer, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. She's got to have that covered for me. No wonder she's frustrated with herself. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Noel Maritz. Time and the scoreline against Arsenal, but still they're in this. Ruben Moy and Little it comes to absolutely nothing Toletti and a throw in forthcoming It was anything but. Well, having been awarded the corner, they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt. It's a short one. 
And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yep, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff.